am so ready to go right now. As you can see, I've already broken my stool, which I am absolutely raging about. New camera day. Mm. It's so itchy. Oh my god, you can see all my makeup lines. Ew. Oh my god, you can see all my wrinkles. I think I need to start getting Botox. Mm. Well. Surprise, surprise, I'm on my third iced coffee and it's only 12 o'clock. Also, guys, do not do what I did. I bought this on Amazon, I think, for 14 pounds. Since then, I've had quite a few messages telling me that you can get these from Starbucks for 2 99 So, do not do the mistake I did and get absolutely, um, what's the word? Ripped off. You don't want to get ripped off. Basically, I thought it would be really fun. Um, coming up to Valentine's Day, we're single, but well, I'm single, I don't know if you are, to discuss your ex. I don't know if everyone knows what an ick is, but I decided to Urban Dictionary it just so we have a clear understanding of what exactly I'm talking about. So I looked up Urban Dictionary, I feel like you can just always rely on Urban Dictionary for like the most random little things. Something someone does that is an instant turn off for you, making you instantly hate the idea of being with them romantically. So basically, I decided to make a little Instagram story. Here is some of the responses, and I was actually really happy. So many people got involved with it, and it was honestly like, it made my night going through these. Some of them I actually was like, <coughs> like <coughs> ah. You would know, you literally feel like you need to gag? So many of them did that to me. Other ones, I kind of sat there and was like, how, how is this an ick? This is like an everyday task. Imagine if a boy said, for instance, getting a meal deal was an ick about a girl. But a girl said that about a boy and I still can't grasp that one. And girls have like this thing, they just get the ick so easily. And I feel like especially as you get older, it's like, it's so easy to notice. Because one minute you're like totally obsessed, you like really fancy someone, you love someone. They do one thing, one thing, that's you, done. Never gonna see them, speak to them or anything again. You look at them and you literally feel physically sick, like <laughs> You're gonna hear me doing that so much throughout this video and I really need to stop because I'll probably give some boy the ick. I mean, okay, right, let's just start with these icks. Okay, I hope you can understand these. I don't want there to be a language barrier, so I'm gonna play some of them. I'll like speak some of them. Well, read some of them out. Why did I say that like that? Oh my god, this one's so relatable. When they repeat their joke because they think no one heard. Ah! <laughs> Painful. And like no one laughs because it's not funny. And then they say it again. And like, do you know what? And everyone just English. Do you remember? And do you? And everyone's like, no, no, stop, 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 stop. And you're the only. I don't know if you are the only one that hears. And you're just like in your head being like, oh my god, oh my god, stop, 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 stop. But yeah, I just thought that one was a very good ick. Um, another ick that got sent into my group chat was a chain on a boy. Now that one shocked me because I just think a chain on a boy literally screams out, <laughs> me. Can I say that? I don't know. I'm going to change it. It screams out, kiss me. <laughs> Ew. I just give myself the ick. No, a chain on a boy. How could you not like that? Well, it depends on the boy, but oh, my God. Chain on a boy, I think that's unreal. Like that, like just like a little gold one. It has to be gold. I'm not a fan of a silver chain, but no. Oh, someone said if they're a dweeb. <laughs> it depends on the boy. Someone did say it depends on the boy. And all he would wear is his like uni clothes, like so you knew which uni he went to. So like always wearing like a Strathclyde jumper, so you know they go to that uni. Well, that one's definitely aimed, and I want to know who it's about. <laughs> this doesn't really bother me, but again, I think it would depend if they're... What uni it was. Is that bad? <laughs> I, it's like when they wear a Leapers hoodie. Like, who wears a Leapers hoodie from, like, 2019 or, like, any time? I hate seeing boys in Leapers hoodies from school. And I'm like, fair enough, you have that. But don't wear it all. That's okay to wear around the house, but not in public. No one cares that you left school about five years ago. So much fun. I hope you're having fun because I'm having so much fun. Ick <laughs> is when men breathe or look or speak in my direction. Ooh, this one sounds like she's very emotionally damaged. I don't know if you made that out, but basically it's when they breathe or acknowledge her. Oh, that one breaks my heart. Oh, honey, you need a hug. I'll come, I'll come give you. Ick when they're too keen. You want this to be an arsehole? Honey, you have been hurt. I don't know who hurt you, but your eggs are... 
Basically, yeah, if a boy's too nice, you don't want them. You dump them. Okay, next one. Uh, when they're in the supermarket and they can't find something, so they have to ask one of the workers where it is. <laughs> I mean, I give myself the egg when I have to ask a worker where there's something like in the shop. I get so nervous, I freak myself out and I have to awkwardly go up to them and then they don't hear you and you're like, excuse me, do you want the crisp for? Another egg. When they think you're asleep so they start farting in the bed. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Now this. Where did it begin? So the boy farted in the bed next to you when he thought she was asleep. My friend was kind of seen dating someone and yeah, they'd had a sleepover, an adult sleepover. And the next day he thought she was sleeping and he wouldn't stop farting. And she just didn't want to like, ah! the thought of this is painful. She just lay there and pretended to be asleep because she didn't want to get up and then say, oh my God, like you farted, why would you do that? Like it's a natural thing but don't keep farting when you've just woken up beside the girl you bumped Ugh, that is so vile go to the toilet and farm oh my god i'm literally sitting editing this editing this at night time and i have the fear why did i say bumped <laughs> Ew, I've never said that once in my life before. I mean, I'm sure we've all been there. You've needed to fart around a boy or something, but you hold that in. You hold that in until you get home. Oh, disgusting. I'm going out with a guy and he fell over and hurt his leg and I was just like, and I don't think I ever spoke to him again. I don't think a boy can do anything right at this point. On to the next one. Another one that I absolutely hate is when a guy's got really, really long fingernails or toenails like, Ugh, you yeah. just need to cut your fingers. Yeah. Yep, yeah, nails was mentioned, I'd say about five times in people's ex. Girls won't want to go near you if you have long fingernails. I don't know where those fingers are going, but if they're long, it's a no-go. <laughs> okay, next one. I get in a really sorry if anyone's boyfriend does this, but it's when they call their girl, they're seeing their missus, and they're like caption pics like, me and the missus. Oh, I don't know why. No, I love that. I love that one. I want a boy to call me his missus. Yeah, I got this one sent to me twice. Yeah, and, and I just, I don't see the issue with it. I love it. I refer to his girlfriend or the person he's seeing or whatever as like my missus or my bird. That is just embarrassing. It's the bleh. I love people who are literally gagging at the thought of them. Another really common one <laughs> was mirror selfies. Mirror? Mirror selfies? Yeah. Mirror? Mirror? I think it's my accent. I can't say it. What are like boys who make TikToks? I mean, I can't really talk. Like, I love TikToks. Everyone does it. I can't really slag it off. Like, I make TikTok. Probably make people gag as well, but I don't really care. It's, it's all a bit of fun. It's all a bit of harmless fun. But there's this guy, Wesley. He, off. Oh, we're gonna get the TikTok. We're gonna get the TikTok. I may or may not have messaged him on Instagram not to go to reply yet, but God loves a trier. I don't even know what ick we were talking about there. It was selfies and TikTok, so I don't know. So there's people like him. I love his TikToks. Like I will like every single one and everything. And then there is some TikToks that make me cringe and they're so posy. Um, another one was anyone that wears super dry clothing. I mean, how is super dry still a thing? Can we actually talk about that for a moment? Who, who are the people that are buying super dry? And like, why is super dry still a thing? Because I never actually see it. But the stores, they have so many stores, but I never actually really see people in it. Also, hey, like, see if boy's like wearing a suit and he's wearing like those brown shoes and he's not wearing socks. No, like, that is disgusting. Like, you probably have sweaty feet. Socks with shoes? That's disgusting if you don't. I mean, I say that and I've done it so many times before, which I know is disgusting and my feet smell, but we're just not going to talk about it. When a boy does it, it's an ache. No, I don't mind brown shoes. I don't mind that with a suit. I think that looks really smart. But there were actually a couple of people who do not like brown shoes with a suit. But the socks, I get no socks. Like your sweaty, moldy feet are going to be like rubbing against it and then you'll take them off and the smell, ugh, ugh, no, no, no. She was um, eating spaghetti bolognese and getting tomato sauce around the lips. 
ew but this ick has actually come up about two or three times so when you eat spaghetti bolognese bolognese whatever and you just have like the big ready orange lip liner rim around your mouth that does give me the ick i've seen it so many times it literally makes me gag feel sick want to like pick up the plate and smash it across your head um another one which i thought was quite funny was the thought of someone in a swimming cap and goggles <laughs> i think this was one of the first ones i received and i died i died because i haven't worn a, worn a swim cap and goggles in so long but i remember when we did swimming in primary school they all had to wear them and it does it just looks so weird because the eyes are pulled back in their head and they're like I don't know, you're kind of like this, but like with glasses, I don't really know, but yeah, that's Nick. I'm sorry, it's Nick. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the ick video. I had so much fun like going through everyone's eggs. It actually gave me such a serotonin boost during these mad, sad, crazy COVID times. But after hearing your eggs, I feel so much better about myself because I just know I'm never, I've never experienced to that extent but honestly they were so much fun if you guys enjoyed the video i had so much fun filming that if you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a wee thumbs up and subscribe below and yeah i'll see you guys soon and i hope you're enjoying lockdown see ya